Let's face it, Utah and the Salt Lake Valley in particular embody a rich mountain history. Our license plates don't lie. It's also the birthplace of modern snow science, avalanche research, avalanche control work, and most importantly, avalanche outreach and education. Our snow science roots run as deep as our snow. In the 1950s and 60s, Ed LaChapelle and Monty Outwater are busy recording snow at Alta and testing their theories. Ed and Monty hone their craft. They begin understanding how snow and avalanches behave. And Forest Service snow ranger, Bengt Sandal, also known as Binks, finds himself routinely giving out information on a phone line to backcountry skiers. And after Binks, then Jeff and I took over and we had Barry Mathias and Dwayne Bowles. They were our two directors. And then the following year, 8081, we went official. And the Utah Avalanche Forecast Center is officially created and fully funded by the Wasatch Cash National Forest. So when I first got here in the fall of 1986, I mean the technology was way different. The whole computer took up the entire back room and it had 64K of memory, K kilobytes. It seemed like we were on a submarine because they'd say, it's going down, it's going down. I mean the computer was crashing and everybody tried to save their work. A year later, the Avalanche Center is growing and Wendy Ziegler sets up the first iteration of the Friends of the Utah Avalanche Forecast Center. We needed money bad. There were weather stations going down, the federal government was decreasing funding. So I said to Bruce, we need to have a ski swap so that we can raise some money. November of 91, REI stepped up to the plate and hosted it. It was a booming success. In February of 1992, the Utah Avalanche Forecast Center loses one of its own as a tragic avalanche accident takes the life of forecaster Mark Yates. It's 1998 and the Utah Avalanche Center website is launched. Sure, it's medieval, but it's the first in the country. It's sort of like inventing three chord rock and roll. The big Christmas storm of 2003 Three young men are killed in an avalanche the day after Christmas. And it takes several weeks for all of their bodies to be recovered. It's a story that makes not only national, but international news as well. However, this tragedy is parlayed into an amazing avalanche outreach and education program. We launched the Know Before You Go program. At the end of the year, Know Before You Go reaches over 12,000 students right here in Utah. We figured this out in Utah first, and then it spread to every place else, including Europe. They were all looking towards us. I mean, as time went on, the Utah Avalanche Center played a larger and larger role in Utah and Utah culture. We got to be very well known. In fact, in 2006, Governor John Huntsman declared February as Avalanche Awareness Month. So in 2006, we realized that we were missing out on a big opportunity. It was really becoming a full-time gig, and we couldn't run it doing it at night and from our garage. So that's when we really grew up. So it's 2012. And a typical field day in the Western Uintas turns into this aha moment as we trigger a large avalanche from several hundred feet away, filming it with a GoPro camera. It's posted to the internet where the video goes viral. Here it goes. Grab it. Wow, look at this avalanche here. We just. Whoa! So the light bulb goes off as Trent and I realize. This is the most effective way to get avalanche information out to the public. And we realized pretty quickly, we've just created Avalanche TV. And it definitely saved lives. 
We realized the depth of Trent's talents in 2015 when we revised the Know Before You Go video. We partnered with some big names, Red Bull Media, Sherpa Cinema, and high-end athletes like Jeremy Jones, Jimmy Chin, Angel Collinson, and Travis Rice. The resulting product was amazing. It quickly spread into other countries and has become an international phenomenon. So after 29 fabulous years as the director of the Utah Avalanche Center, I mean, some of the best years of my life, I decided it was time to retire. So we looked all over the country to find the best person to take over. There's a lot of really cool stuff happening with technology. We're gonna take advantage of that and help folks know what's going on in the back country and be armed with the best information possible. Videos, getting drone footage, and who knows what else is in the future. But we're excited to be a part of it. In 2016, we decided to get avalanche education to even more people. And we did that by developing an e-learning program, an online interactive program that allows people to learn on their own time, on their own device. My name is Chad Bracklesberg and I'm the new Executive Director of the Utah Avalanche Center. I think there's just an endless opportunity to continue to grow and adapt to our users. Everything from online learning to how we give daily forecasts, which could be in social media or other forms of media in the future. There are more people out in the mountains every single day getting out and having fun. It, the growth is explosive. It's going up every day. It's the rate of people getting hurt is going down, and that's what we're here for, and that's why we do this job, because we want folks to get home safe to see their families every day. Who knows where the future is going to bring us? But based on the revolutionary achievements we've developed in the past and given the huge pool of talent in our staff, we're extremely excited to see where this is all going to end up. It would just be a small blip in history if it wasn't for this amazing community. And to that, we are extremely grateful.